If I were a plant, I would be an orchid because I love how elegant they are. My name is Lise Joselwane and I am the CEO of Ronewa Creations. I studied biochemistry and botany and then I went to go study landscaping and you know then my aunt was like why don't we just start the business right now. I just love nature. I just love nature. I worked for 10 years in corporate but I just felt that I just needed to change career. So we started this baby called Ronewa Creations and we do landscaping and garden maintenance. My passion comes from my mom. She taught us a lot about the environment, about how to take care of flowers. My grandmother, who has a very eclectic garden in Soweto and she belongs to a garden club in Soweto, she shares so much information. So that's pretty much um, where all of this came together. Well, I've always been an entrepreneur and I come from a very poor uh, family, poor background. So I had to step up at 11. I started selling uh, candles and paraffin, started selling sweets at school. So I've been selling, selling, selling. And then when I finished my trick, my dream was to come to Johannesburg so that I can change my life and my family's life. I started hustling again, started uh, selling grilled chicken feet, gizzards, and also selling t-shirts. I was aspiring musician on the side, but I never stopped selling. Then I got a job from uh, one of the biggest tobacco uh, company in SA. And then 2019, I decided to quit my job in April. I cashed out all my savings, everything to the last cent. So that's how I basically started Moja Chicken. Moja means leke. Moja means delicious. Moja means awesome. Moja means sharp. It's a very popular slang in the township. So that was my first selling point. Okay, cool. I'm going to grill chicken, give it uh, my own flavor. And also I was like, if I want to tackle the township uh, economy, I had to go with the container structure. I'm the owner of Goni Wines. So I started this business after I resigned from uh, the corporate world. You know, I was always curious about wine. It's not an easy business. It looks glamorous and all that, you know, but behind the scenes, you need to really be work hard to build the brand, build the business. So starting Renault Creations was really, really tough. Many, many challenges along the journey. Firstly, we are in a male-dominated industry. Also getting the resources to start us up. You know, we didn't have a back here when we started. I remember we used to put trees in, in, in Dina's car. One tree would be going out the other window, the other one, the other window. And just uh, getting that financial backing was a big, big stress. Ooh, six months later, COVID hit. No one was ready. I was not prepared. It went on for the whole 2020. Stress, trying to hustle, trying to make means to live. Uh, unfortunately, I went to a very deep uh, corner. I started now hitting depression. I was a self-funded uh, business. I just took whatever savings I had and started the business. So that was actually rough. And then it, somewhere 2017, 18 was my worst years, where literally I have no funds, nothing whatsoever. But you know, I kept on going. There was that voice that just says, just keep trying. You meet people who will also guide you in the process to to improve and uh, obviously now while I was ready to meet the world 2020 2021 COVID was there uh, but all that rocked up you know and uh, I was part of the 12 uh, SMEs for the Holland campaign that actually reshaped the whole thing so our purpose at Hollard is to enable more people to create and secure a better future. Our founders believed there was a better way to do insurance, a better way to be in the world, and um, so we come to do every day. Um, so it's very special. 
Big Ads for Small Business came about because we knew that small businesses were some of the hardest hit kind of parts of society through lockdown. Um, there were businesses closing left, right and center. And so we thought, well, how can we create better futures for those businesses? The idea was, what if we gave our ad space to small businesses? I mean, that sounds nuts, right? Because we need our ad space. But indeed, that's exactly what we did. So we asked Holidays, are there small businesses in your area or that you know that could benefit from a little bit more um, attention? I lost my apartment and then I had to sleep in my car for like uh, three months. And then this one guy, he texted me. I work for Holiday. Uh, Holiday have got this exciting campaign that's coming up. Take a chance. We had 300 or so uh, businesses that were submitted. We went through a really rigorous vetting process because we needed to make sure that the business wouldn't topple over if they got 14 million inquiries because we put them on TV. So it was quite a process. I applied. A month or two later, wow. I get a call from this gentleman. Uh, he says, uh, Mr. Mutsing, uh, Moja Chicken has been shortlisted. Oh from the whole uh, big ads campaign. Whoa, okay. And then I could feel the weight just going off uh, my shoulders. We identified such a beautiful range of businesses and phoning them up and saying, you're one of our 12. It was probably the best thing that happened to me in lockdown for absolutely sure. I remember that day when I got a call and then they said, congratulations, you're part of the whole campaign. Oh man, I was, it was so unbelievable. Ah, oh, big ads for small businesses. I cannot even begin to describe how amazing that was. When they told us that we are part of, you know, the 12 that have been selected, we were so thrilled. It was so overwhelming, yet we were like, it's our time, it's our time. So now we had 12 businesses and we needed to put down 12 advertising campaigns together so that we could amplify them and showcase them to South Africa so that we could grow their businesses. And that was the next step. Not one campaign, but 13 campaigns simultaneously, all at once, in lockdown. So we started with Out of Home. Then we moved into TV. We had radio. Um, we had kind of community print. Also, we had to think about geography and whether national exposure was better or whether exposure within the area was better. Um, there were street ball ads, there were bus shelters. They all had like a whole um, social media content plan for them. Now, I became part of a big ads for small businesses. Uh, wow, it was amazing shooting that. It was so amazing. Then after the campaign, our life changed. We started opening more franchises. Even the back end of the business, they really assisted me. So part of the um, objective was seeing what else we could do to support these businesses. We gave them help with legal contracts. We gave them exposure to a whole lot of things that um, amplified the input that already had in marketing their businesses. We've learned so much from that experience, how you actually need to put yourself out there a lot more because your credibility is everything. And it has really put us in the door. We were very clear what we wanted to achieve. First of all, we had to make sure that our brand um, was being um, amplified for the reasons that uh, we wanted to position our brand and always do in creating better futures. But we also wanted to make sure that every business grew um, in response to the exposure that they would get. And when you, you know, speak to Connie and you hear about her new contracts, and uh, when you speak to uh, Ronewa Gardens and hear that they were seen on TV and suddenly they had gravitas and, and there was awareness that they were substantial. It's just incredible. Our business grew 10 times. <laughs> we had to hire more people. We had to uh, get uh, more equipment. So we are taking it to another level. And the company is really, really growing. That campaign took my brand to the next level. I think the main thing was, it was driving brand awareness, uh, being associated with a company like Hollard. So I think definitely our export uh, opportunities came from there. 
the local business as well. The idea of win-win-win is baked into our purpose and it's everything we do. We're a very strong partnership business. And so the idea of us sharing our ad space, which was easy because it's something that we do. So today, uh, the business is looking good. We've got nine franchise stores now here across South Africa. I think for me, every time I open a new store, what drives me as, a, as an entrepreneur is not the bank uh, uh, balance or bank account. It's definitely uh, creating jobs. I hope I will be inspiring some of uh, the community of South Africa to really keep dreaming. Don't doubt your capabilities, you can. Till this day, people still say, we saw you, I remember seeing Renee Creation somewhere and there's that link and I'll forever be grateful for that opportunity.